Hello swimmers. In this video, my partner Sergi Mirapex explains what is the total immersion swimming method in an interview very rich in knowledge. I am Rafa Soriano and this is Efficient Swimming. Today in Contraportada we know a new technique, total immersion, for a way of swimming sliding on the water and we will do it with a specialist in the subject, Sergi Mirapex, who is also a former swimmer. Welcome, Sergi. Good day. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. As thank we you. Said, today we want to learn a new technique, in this case, total immersion, but explain us what it is. Look, total immersion, I would say it's two things. First of all, it's a very different swimming technique than the traditional swimming technique. And then above all, it is a methodology to learn this technique. It is a technique that is very narrowly focused on hydrodynamics and balance. I mean, what we are looking for is that the swimmer, instead of struggling to make a lot of force with arms and legs in the water, look for the best position in the water, a hydrodynamic position that allows him to glide, and swim in a fluid, relaxed way, and that this allows you in the long run to swim more distance, faster and enjoy swimming. Because you said it's totally different from traditional swimming instruction, what are the basic differences between one and the other? Look, especially in traditional swimming, as I said, it is very focused on doing a lot of strength with arms and legs, and then it focuses mainly on working the upper trunk and lower trunk independently. First you work with arm strength and leg strength, and what we do is to integrate everything. So we always understand that there must be coordination between the arms and legs through the connection we make with the hips, that as a technical trait. From the methodology point of view, the instructor, the coach in this case, is always in the water. We work in the courses in 20 meter pools where the coach and the students can touch their feet on the floor. And above all, the way we train is a methodology based on sequences. And we always work with very short sequences so that we are recording inside the swimmer's neuromotor apparatus. All the movements from the most basic, which is learning to float, to the complete stroke, and on top of that, we add the video. Video analysis is fundamental. What we do is to record the swimmers on the first day, and as they evolve, they themselves can see how their swimming progresses. And they can also see their mistakes, what they are doing wrong, what they are doing right, what they need to improve. Yes, the video helps you a lot because you can insist on a particular movement and they, the swimmers in the water, interpret it in their own way. But then when they watch the video, it's very easy for them to see and recognize you're right, I'm not doing this movement right. I imagined I was doing it differently. Sergi, you said something very interesting to me. You said the topic of enjoyment, enjoyment in the water. People who swim when they get out of work and want to relax often say, I'm going to swim because it relaxes me. With this technique will help us even more to relax in the water? Especially because what we are looking for is that the swimmer glides through the water in a relaxed way and without tension. So the swimmer with this technique learns to swim in a very long way. That is to say, he does much fewer strokes than a conventional swimmer. And we always set the example. When a swimmer comes to the course and in 25 meters does 20 strokes, when he finishes the course, he ends up swimming between 14 and 15 strokes. Of course, this means that the number of strokes is greatly minimized. It minimizes a lot the energetic expenditure. And that means that in the long run, it allows you to swim longer, have a better time, and always enjoy each stroke. We always say that every stroke should be a pleasure. And, well, I think we get you it. You have to glide, don't you? have you? to glide. Every stroke. Because, Sergi, what mistakes do we normally make when we swim? See, normally what we normally do is we make a lot of waves when we swim. We make a lot of bubbles and we make a lot of resistance. So what happens? If you don't teach the swimmer to have a good positioning in the water so that he can have an aerodynamic or hydrodynamic position when he moves forward, he generates resistance. So all of that, when we film it, means that around the swimmer there are always a lot of bubbles and waves are made. With this technique, what we understand is to avoid all this. It is to glide in an ultra-efficient way and that our body glides in this medium that is alien to us, which is water, in a very efficient way. Then later, when we make the videos, we see that the swimmer no longer makes bubbles and has a much more relaxed head. In each stroke advances much more than before and so on and so forth. Because, Sergi, who can this technique be applied to? Who can be taught to everyone? Or do you have to have some characteristics, some kind of goal? 
Look, it is a technique that is open to a very wide range of swimmers, from the most amateur who wants to learn to swim in a relaxed way and enjoy the water, to high competition triathletes, to open water swimmers and competitive pool swimmers. What's funny about this is that, no matter what level you are, we always start from scratch. We always say that, because a lot of people carry a backpack from their traditional swimming, what we do is a reset or a mental inhibition and we start from scratch. And regardless of the level you have, we always start doing very basic exercises, which are body control in the water and balance. So obviously, if you have a good feeling, because you have been a swimmer or have done many hours in the water, the evolution is faster. But the beginning is the same and the end point is the same. What are the benefits for all these competitors, these elite swimmers? For example, what are the benefits for a person who does triathlon? Well, having a more efficient swimming means that each stroke you do means that you make more progress. And that means that in the end, you are reduced in a smaller number of strokes than you did before. For a triathlete, it is very clear. If a triathlete of an Olympic distance is 1500 meters long and each stroke he makes advances one meter, it means that the swimming section will make 1500 strokes. We get him to do 13 strokes instead of 15 strokes for the long distance. He will end up doing the triathlon. With one 300 strokes, that means he saves 200 strokes. This means that when you come out of the water, you have done far fewer strokes than your competitors. So when the time comes to start the second leg, which is the bike leg, this triathlete starts the bike leg with a lower energy expenditure than the rest of the competitors. That's what triathletes are. Something similar happens to swimmers. I mean, as they become more efficient swimmers, they are able to move at the same speed as their opponents with fewer strokes. This means that, in the end, it is also less energy expenditure. Because, Sergi, you are one of the only coaches here in Catalonia with a total immersion qualification. I think there are very few of you in Spain. But how did you discover this methodology, this technique? Look. Look, I've been a swimmer. I was a competitive swimmer. The thing is that, for reasons of compatibility with studies and swimming, I had to quit at the age of 17. But I have never stopped swimming. I have always continued swimming. No longer to compete, but to do open water crossings. To be physically fit. But I was always looking for ways to improve technically. And well, I had read books, I had taken courses, but none of them helped me. Until I discovered this technique. I took the course as a student, as a pupil, and it really caught my attention, especially the methodology. How surprising it is how, in a process of 13-15 hours, you are able to change the way you swim completely. I went to the world of total immersion as a student, and little by little I did more courses, until one day a place opened up to become certified as a coach. We call them coach, and I signed up. I went through all the phases, and I got certified. And now about a year ago I'm teaching. And yes, there are only a few of us. This is a methodology that is well established in the Anglo-Saxon world, in the United States and in England, and in Northern Europe. And in Spain it has arrived a little later. Why, where does this technique come from? Yes, this is a technique that has been taught in the United States for more than 25 years. That was a group of pioneering coaches who saw, above all, that within the world of swimming and competition, there was a time when swimmers trained a lot. And no matter how much you train and no matter how hard you train, the results don't come out. I mean people. No matter how many meters they do, they don't go down in time. And they said, there's something going on here. They started to analyze this with a group of biomechanics experts, with a group of psychologists and a group of coaches. And they said, listen, how can we make it so that swimmers with less workload can have equal or better results? And they started researching how they can make the human body be able to glide more efficiently in the water until they developed this technique and this methodology and that's been going on for over 25 years in the United States and that is led by a very emblematic person from the world of world swimming his name is Terry Laughlin he is the one who founded and has trained the instructors and now here in Catalonia we have Sergi Mirapex and another coach Rafa Soriano who are the only coaches of total immersion if someone wants to know this technique do they want to know the courses you teach yes yes or if you can apply it, is there any contact? Yes. Well, I would advise them to go to the website, which is www.smartswim.es, and there you will see what the total immersion swimming technique is. You will know the total immersion courses that we do in Catalonia, and you will also see material that we post about ways of swimming, videos and how we manipulate the body in the water with the swimmer. There you will find all the information about it. 
Well, Sergi, thank you very much for coming to Contraportada to explain this new technique for all those who love or want to start swimming. And we hope that someday you come here to San Cugat also to teach us the total immersion. Very good. Very good. Thanks thank to all you of you. very much. We arrive here to today's back page. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you.